What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to discuss if Far Cry 6 is a prequel to Far Cry 3. Now, this is obviously a theory going on around the internet. I'm not going to claim or pretend that I'm the first person uh, to think this up, but I really do think there is very steady ground to be stood on uh, in regards to this theory. I really do think uh, people are on to something here, and I think it makes a lot of sense. And it also, for someone like me, as I've talked about in the past, kind of my experiences with Far Cry, this is something that that intrigues me. This is something from not a diehard fan of the franchise, but uh, even still, even not being that, still want uh, gets me to want to play this game even more. So obviously, like anything Ubisoft related, this game was leaked yesterday, right? And so you know, normally when we get into uh, E3 time for Ubisoft, we know that there, there's no way they can keep anything a secret. Normally Assassin's Creed is fully leaked out. Uh, games like this are fully leaked out. We know, obviously, Gus Fring of Breaking Bad fame, right? He is going to be, obviously, that's not uh, the actor Name, but he will be the main villain in this game. Looks awesome. The, in the very, very short clip that we got, uh, kind of the poster that we got of this game, looks insanely, insanely cool. To have uh, an actor really of his caliber back, or I guess like in a video game, uh, is absolutely insane. So I, I'm really, I'm hooked already, right? I think he's a phenomenal, phenomenal actor. I love him as Gus Fring in Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul. So I'm absolutely in for that. And, you know, there's a lot to go off of with the whole, the, the, the boy, which I believe his name is Diego that he is actually a young Voss. So we really have uh, two things. I'll show you guys the tweet first. So here's a tweet. So is Diego in Far Cry 6 meant to be a young Voss from Far Cry 3? And there's the scar on his right, when we're looking at him, uh, his, I mean, our left, uh, his eyebrow. There's a very small uh, kind of scar there. That's very, very little. It's not necessarily, I would say, enough uh, to confirm anything, but that is one thing to go off of. The biggest thing I would go to, and I actually believe I covered it on this uh, on this channel, uh, funny enough, is the the actor, okay, Michael Mando. Now, I guess this doesn't, of course, include the really funny connection. It would, of course, be if Nacho, right, or in, in uh, Better Call Saul, if his uh, his actor obviously played Voss, and now obviously we have like Gus Fring, his actor playing. You know what I mean? Like all that kind of time. Uh, I guess just everything kind of lining up, right, with these two guys or these two actors. Obviously, that would make a lot of sense, and that maybe would be uh, the biggest thing to think of or to, to look at. But you have this a while ago, and this was on April 22nd that PlayStation Universe uh, covered this. Uh, there was a Reddit AMA with this guy, Michael Mando, who again plays Nacho, plays Voss in Far Cry 3, and his and he, he was talking about his role, and he said, Voss is my spirit animal. Having co-created that character is something that will always be dear to me. I still get recognized as Voss, and I still feel the outpouring of love for that character. Makes me very happy. Who knows? Maybe I'll reprise the role very soon. Smiley, or like like sticking the tongue out face. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for watching. Okay, so that, in my opinion, and I even said that back then, and to be quite honest, I completely forgot that even happened. I, I, I actually do remember like 100%. Like, I did cover that uh, on this channel, and so uh, I do remember talking about it, and I just completely dropped it from my mind. I mean, to have this maybe lead into a far Cry 3 or to have it be I don't know I guess uh, because technically like you can't have flashbacks if you're already in the past to have like flash forwards maybe when you would see a fully grown up Voss I think that's something that they could absolutely do if this is a game of kind of getting you to how Voss became Voss right and maybe you get those fast forwards or like again those kind of like flashes in time where you get to see uh, him as an adult that would make sense how the voice act, or again how uh, Michael Mando that would it make sense of how he is going to be back right that it's not just this kid playing him uh that it's actually him honestly the thing the thing that kind of sucks i will say is one i mean i do love the mystery like this the mystery of it and the kind of the anticipation of like oh man are the people that are saying this are we all right the thing is it's going to kind of just end i believe tomorrow right i feel like when you announce this game, it's going to be almost insanely impossible to stop people from... Now, again, his name's Diego. This kid is Diego. But as we start to learn more about this game, I feel like it would just become more and more evident that this is where we're going. You know what I mean? If, if this game is that Diego is actually Voss and you're going to grow up to be Voss, you're going to see him uh, become... like However they're going to end up doing it, that's going to be next to impossible to hide, even from promotional stuff, even from, again, like all the stuff they'll show to the media and show to like us, you know, in terms of like game 
gameplay and different say different trailers. I think it's going to be insanely hard to hide something like that. So while I don't necessarily think it will be confirmed tomorrow, I feel like we'll all have a very uh, a much better guess in terms of if we're right or wrong uh, when they announce this thing tomorrow, right? But but ultimately, in terms of like, is that a good idea? If this is a game, say, uh, to, as a prequel to Far Cry uh, 3, okay? So for some reason, Far Cry 6 is actually before Far Cry 3. I think that would be very good. Again, I'm not a diehard Far Cry guy. Uh, I've talked about kind of my struggles of, of liking this. I've given all the games ever since Far Cry 2 a chance, okay? I've played every single game. Uh, and I like them to various extents. It's just, it's I don't know, for whatever reason, in terms of maybe the gameplay or the world building or however they end up doing it, for some reason, I do give like every single game under the sun a chance. I can never really, I, I nev never really loved them. Uh, Far Cry 3, I did enjoy. I, I really do like Voss like, as a character and as a villain. I think he's phenomenal. So uh, I, I think someone even like me who's not super into Far Cry, but we all know Voss, right? Even if you're not into Far Cry, you've probably heard of Voss or you've seen him or something like that. I feel like this is a very smart, kind of like marketing ploy where it's like if it is connected in that way, not only now do you have the guy, you know, a really good actor in terms of, uh, you know, Gus Fring's actor uh, being the main villain. It's going to be, you know, next gen. It'll have the free upgrade from current gen to next gen. All these things that sound very, very good on the ears, right? They're all extremely uh, good things uh, to hear. But then all of a sudden you throw in that, oh, you know, you're going to be, you know, seeing how Voss became Voss. I mean, that is a very smart marketing ploy that I think is going to work to bring a lot. I mean, honestly, if that happens, I feel like that sells me. I, I, I can only talk for myself, right? I can't make the decision for you. But uh, personally for me, I feel like it almost makes the decision immediately where it's like, okay, I'll give it a chance. You know what I mean? I may, I may play it. I may just not, again, kind of jive with the kind of game that Far Cry has kind of always been. But I'm going to give it a chance because I think it's a really cool idea. I think it's, it, has it been done before? Have we ever, you know, honestly, I mean, thinking about it, I can't really come up with any examples. I'm sure it's probably been done before where we had a villain and we, we now see him when he was younger, seeing the villain when he was younger. I'm sure that's happened before. But, I mean, it doesn't happen all that often. So, I mean, it's definitely a really cool kind of different thing that doesn't happen often uh, in the gaming uh, medium, right? So, guys, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think this is a Far Cry 3 prequel? Do you think Diego is Voss? Let me know. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to this YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when these videos go up. And I make a video, a new video, on this channel every single day. Obviously, tomorrow is Ubisoft Forward. If uh, we get Far Cry news there, I'm going to be covering it here. I'll be covering it on podcast. Now, I'm going to try and do uh, as many videos as possible to cover everything we get uh, at Ubisoft Forward on both of these channels. So make sure you guys are, again, subscribed, have the bell turned on for both uh, Podcast Now Plus as well as Podcast Now, okay? Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on tomorrow's video.